In this video, we're gonna talk about rates of change or derivatives as rates of change. Um, and just in general, so we're not gonna do any gnarly calculations. Um, what I wanna talk about is that if we have a function, we can find the derivative. Okay, now this derivative is the instantaneous slope. So if you think about instantaneous slope, slope is rise over run, right? So as y changes, as x changes. Okay, well, in physics, they'll write change as a triangle. But because we're talking about instantaneous change, rather than use the delta triangle, we use D. So what the derivative is saying is it'll tell you your instantaneous change of Y per X. That's your rate of change. All right. The reason why I'm bringing this up is that it doesn't have to be F's and X's. It could be C and X, where C is cost in dollars, and X is the number of burgers that I'm selling. Okay. What that means then is that if I t find C prime of X, what that's really doing is I'm finding it is dy, but that y is a c or cost. So this would be the change in dollars per x, but x here is burgers. So c prime of x is a rate of change. It'd be dollars per burger if that's what the x's and the c's represented. Okay, what if I had population over time. So P is the population, and that could be of a city, a state, a bacteria, whatever it is that you're looking at, and T is time. And that time can be measured in days, years, seconds, it just depends, okay? I'll tell you what, let's do it people, and let's have time be in years, okay? So if I have this function that models the population and I find P prime of T, what it is doing is I'm finding DP DT. Now, the top is always the Y, the bottom is always the X, and in this case, X is T, okay? So this would be change in P per T. Now, what does change in P per T mean? change in population or the number of people per and here I said year okay so that's how you can talk about rates of change with functions and be able to assign units so there's a couple problems at the end of our homework assignment that deal with this idea I hope this helps